Good morning, everybody. We are going to start with some fabulous phonics today, so I hope you are ready. We're going to start by recapping all these sounds, and don't forget to have a go at saying them at home with me. So let's get started. Hmm. Ah. S. A. D. T. E. N. P. E. G. I. O. K. K. O. U. O. B. F. E. L. P. V. H. Sh. R. J. Y. W. Z. Ch. Qu. F. X. Ng. Nk. Fabulous. So this is our sound today. So our sound has got two letters and it's got the letter O and an O. OK, and together we call this a digraph when we have two letters that make one sound. So our sound today is U. Uh, your turn. U. Uh, your turn. Well done. So here we've got the sound U. Uh, and on the other side, you can see we've got two people there and they are reading a book, okay? So when you see that side, you're going to say, look at a book, your turn. Well done. So let's have a little look and see if we can identify which side I'm showing you. So one of them is going to be the uh sound and the other one will be look at a book. So keep your eyes peeled and let's get started. Look at a book, uh, uh, look at a book. Look at a book. Oh, uh, look at a book. Fantastic. Well done for reading that along with me there. So now we're going to have a go at spotting my sound. So when you see my sound, I want you to get your pointy fingers up at the ready and you're going to be saying, oh, uh, that's the sound we're looking for. So let's have a look. Keep those pointy fingers up. D, A, A, P, C, O. That's the sound we're looking for. Well done if you spotted it. T, M, F, S, C, D, I, almost. Oh, that's the sound we're looking for. Well done. Almost caught me out that one. I thought was spotting another sound. J, T, N, V, A, Q, O. Oh. That's the sound we're looking for. Well done if you spotted them correctly each time. So now we're going to have a little go at forming these letters correctly. OK, so we've got two O's in our uh sound. So have a little think. Are both of these letters, are they ascenders? Are they descenders or are they small letters? So just have a little think about that. So hopefully you've said that they're both small letters. So if they're small letters, they need to sit in the grass, okay? When we're doing our O's, we need to go around the orange and then across, around the orange and then across, okay? So I'm going to have a go at using my get ready to write. So follow my mouse and you'll be able to see which way around my O's I'm going. So I'm going to say, get ready to write, look at a book. I'm going to challenge myself and have a go at joining them up. So I'm going to say, get ready to write, look, at a book. Fabulous. So have a little go on your line paper at home for me. Make sure because these letters are small letters, they're quite small and they're sitting in the grass. So they're both the same size. And I want to see today who can have a go at joining them up and using their most beautiful cursive handwriting. So if you need to stop the video now to have a little go at doing this, then please do. OK, so make sure you've done at least two full lines of beautiful handwriting so that I can see them and what you've been doing at home. So now we're going to have a go at writing some words with our new sound in. OK, so we need to wake up our Fred fingers and give them a bit of a shake and then hide one. So my first word that I want you to show me how many sounds are in it is the word foot. Your turn. Foot. Your turn. Well done. Check the sounds in foot. Super, show me. She should have three sounds in the word foot. My turn first. F, uh, t, foot. 
Your turn. Fab, have a go at writing that down for me. Don't forget to use that beautiful handwriting so I want to see your O's joined beautifully together. Okay, let's check the word. So the word foot should have foot, foot. Well done if you got that correct. Let's have a go at another word. So wiggle those fingers again and then hide one. So this word is book, book. Check how many sounds are in the word book. And show me how many sounds. So you should have three. Well done if you got that. My turn first now. B -o -k book. Your turn. Fabulous. Have a go at writing book. Once you've done that, you can pop your sound buttons underneath. Fabulous. Let's check. So here we go. We've got B -o -k book. Well done if you got that one correct. We've got another word now, a bit of a challenge this one, so give this one a bit of a wiggle of your fingers to make sure they're awake. And hide one hand. This word is shook. Shook. So shook is the past tense of to shake something, okay? So check how many sounds are in shook. And show me. She should have three sounds, so my turn first. Sh -uk. Shook, your turn. Fabulous, write it down for me. And hopefully you've noticed that there's more than one diagraph in this word. Great, let's check. So we should have sh, uk, shook. And you should have noticed here we've got one diagraph and here we've got another diagraph. Well done, I've got one more word and this word is cook, cook. Check how many sounds. Show me the sounds. So you should have three, well done. K, uk, cook. Fabulous, write it down for me. Amazing, well done. Let's check. K, uk cook. Well done if you got that correct. So now we're going to do some reading using the words and the sounds that we've already been looking at today. So we're going to identify the sound, Fred talk it and then blend it. So let's have a look at this first word. So the first sound is uh, Fred talk, st, uh, d, stood. Well done. Here yeah, the sound is uh, uh, d, hood. O, t, o, k, took. O, w, o, d, wood. O, w, o, l, wool. Well done if you got those ones correct. Now I've got some alien words, which I want you to have a little go at reading with me. Okay, so let's do exactly the same as what we were doing before. So the sound is o, t, o, d, tud. Well done. Here we've got o, g, o, Gup. What a weird alien word that one is here. Uh, y, uh, f, yuff. Fantastic. Well, they were all a load of nonsense. So well done for helping read those with me. And now I've got some jobs for you to do. So here are lots of words with our uh sound in them. Okay. You can give this screen to your mums and dads and they can read out the words and you can have a go at writing the words down. And I want to see how many you can do correctly. There's nine there on the board. So hopefully you'll be able to get all nine of those correct. I've had a go at writing a sentence with one of my words in with my uh sound. And it says, Fred read a book. I'm now going to read three sentences. And I want you to have a go at writing these sentences at home. So I'll say them. I'll say them again on my Fred fingers, then you can have a go at doing them with me, okay? So my first sentence is, I like to cook. So listen again, I like to cook. Can you say that at home with me? I like to cook. So I want you to pause the video here and write me that sentence, okay? 
The next one I want you to try at home is this word. And this says, I took the book. Can you say that? I took the book. So that's my next sentence that I want you to write. And I've got one more sentence. And this sentence is, I have a big foot. Okay, I have a big foot. So this sentence has five words in. So I want you to write those three sentences and send them across to me, please. And if you want a challenge of writing your own sentences on top of those, that is great. So here, this is the sheet that we've popped on the school website for you to have a look, to look at at home if you want some extra work. So it's got the uh sound on the right hand side and underneath are the some words that we have got our sounding from today. Okay, so a few jobs for you to do today. One of those being is a bit of a spellings test, a bit of handwriting and those three simple sentences that I read out. So hopefully you can have a go at writing those down for me, please. Okay, I can't wait to see all the super work that you've produced today. Don't forget to send it across. See you tomorrow. Bye.